We're now going to look at bubble sort. It's another sort that is significantly better than BOGO sort. Um, BOGO sort was the algorithm where you would just randomly throw the values up in the air and see where they landed and hoped that they would land in the right spot. And if they didn't, we'd throw them up in the air again and hope that they'd land in the right spot. Bubble sort has a much more predictable running time and it gets done considerably faster. Uh, BOGO sort's just a bad idea. So bubble sort's not the best sort, but it's definitely a step up from BOGO sort. The way the algorithm works is you always start at the beginning of the array and we're going to go through a bunch of stages of doing swaps. So I'm going to start at the first value in the array. I see there's an 8, and I'm always going to look to the value to the right of it. And if I look to the right of the 8, I see a 4, and I know that's not the right order. 8 is actually bigger than 4, so they're in the wrong order. To move the 8 to where the 4 is, I'm going to do a swap. And the way we've learned to do that is I take one of the values out and I put it into a temp variable. I then move the one value to the other spot. And then the value that's in the temp, I move back into the array at the other position. So now for an eight of switch spots. I'm going to now follow that position throughout the array. And now I'm at position one. And compare the eight versus the five. Need to swap again because eight's bigger. Now I'm at position two. Compare the eight and the three. Eight's still bigger, so I swap one more time. And then now at position three, I need to check versus value seven. And I notice that eight needs to swap a final time. So you'll notice at the end of all these swaps, I've moved the biggest value to the end of the array, and I'm done with stage one. Now we go to stage two. It's going to work a little bit differently. Uh, the same algorithm, we start back at the beginning, and I look at the four and I go, well, the five after it's bigger than it, that's okay. So I don't move the four, but I do move my position up to position one now, and I'm going to compare the five versus the three. The five's bigger, so I swap. And now the 5 is in a better place. Comparing the 5, so now I'm on a position 2, and I compare the 5 versus the 7, and it's already in the right order. So I don't do anything in position 2, and I move to position 3. And I didn't do anything in position 3 uh, because I already know that the 8's the biggest value in the array. I set that with the first stage. So in the second stage, I can stop at this point, and, and I don't have to do a comparison. So now 7 and 8 are in the right spots. Now we go to stage three. We run through it again. I start at uh, position zero. I compare with the value to the right of it. They need to swap, so I switch them around. And a mistake is to think that the algorithm actually ends now. It's not done yet. What we need to do is still compare the four versus the five, because the computer doesn't know that they're in the right order yet, even though as humans we can see that we should be done. Because the four is less than the five, we know that the four is in the right spot, so we don't do anything with it. We go over to the 5, and we don't have to do anything here because we've already set the 7 and the 8 in the right spot. So now the 5, 7, and 8 are on the right spots. Uh, now we go on to stage 4, and we do one more check. We check position 0 versus position 1, and we'll notice that there's no swapping that's needed to do. Be done. So then we move on to position 1, and once again, we don't have to do any comparisons because... We already knew 5 through 8 were in the right spots, so this value must now be in the right spot. And hence, the 3 must also be in the right spot because there's no more places for it to go. So we have successfully sorted the entire array using bubble sort. You should notice that it took 4 stages and the length of the array was 5. So the number of stages for bubble sort is always 1 less than the length. That's always going to be true. There are some variations on bubble sort which make it terminate a little bit faster. But for right now, we're just worried with the vanilla version, and this is sufficient. We can see that uh, after about four stages, the bubble sort algorithm ends for an array of length 5. Once again, this is not the best sort. We'll learn about some better ones in the future. Uh, but bubble sort is definitely a step up from bogo sort, where you just kind of throw things up in the, array, uh, in the air and just kind of hope they land in the right spot.